A card came. Right. Are you well, ready for a card game? Seems she's a giant nerd. Giant nerds. So what are you going to do first? Your suggestions were rather vague. First off, behold! Oh. Oh no. A Ouija board? Oh, yes, a Ouija board. Oh, yeah, the Incorrect. This <laughs> is a Ouija board. You really want to learn the alphabet. Yes, indeed. I've always wanted to play well, a Ouija why? board. A Luigi board. I was going to call it that, actually. <laughs> yeah. Never say these words again. Uh, Ouija boards have been used for the That word said melancholy of no Luigi. <laughs> oh, dear. Contact through seances. That mm. is to say, attempts to speak with dead souls by tapping into the warp. This okay. board is like a window into the immaterium with which the beings on the other side can speak to us. Naturally, warp predators make use of these to easily slip into the materium. Yeah. This is flesh eager for answers they will not receive. Why does it say Password Incorporated? <laughs> Silence! Spare your Hello, questions for the correspondence! I can't wait to speak to Luigi himself. <laughs> <laughs> He's excited to speak to Luigi. Are you sp excited to speak to Luigi, boy? <laughs> no. <laughs> the Nova oh, Cannon awaits you after this. <laughs> Come on, to make it more efficient, you too must place your hand upon it. Let's -a go. <laughs> Come on. Sorry, I can't. But why though? I must firmly grip my weapon, ever and always. But why though? As a custodian guard, I must ever be vigilant. Are you even capable of letting it go? No. Fuck. Look. Spirits of the past, move among us. Be Whoa. guided by the light of this world and visit upon us. Oh. <clears throat> Who could it be? Is anybody with us? Why is my mouse acting Doesn't weird? Seem like it's working. Maybe you should call Hasbro. <laughs> <laughs> call Hasbro. Said, yes. All right. Um. Who are? Why you? was there a random guard? Why I don't know. He's been appearing. Oh. Oh. Your adoptive parents? That's who's Wait, calling him. You mean? Z. My adoptive father from Prospero? Pops? Prospero? Is that really you? Oh! It's oh god, it's Zeech. Oh, I told you it was Zeech. Yeah. Okay. I am your first adoptive father, but that was only for a split second before I ended up being so hard we got them straight into Prospero. I knew they would. Oh dear god. But yeah, Zeech is the chaos god of uh, change, sorcery. Trickery, all that jazz. Oh, and knowledge. He's also Oz. a giant nerd that hates anyone beating his puzzles. Yeah, apparently Dorothy from Oz be beat his incredibly hard maze. Yeah, there's a <laughs> short story about a little girl with a black dog who beat his, um, like, who basically beat his infinite, um, his infinite, like, maze. Maze? And basically, the guardian that was supposed to uh, that was supposed to protect it asked so many hard questions, and if you get them wrong, it eats you. Zinch was so mad that a random girl with a little black dog beat the puzzle. He literally destroyed the demon that was guarding the puzzle. Yeah, <laughs> and and everyone's just like, wait, who the hell was this little girl, and why was she with a black dog? And everyone's just like, it's a reference to Dorothy from The Wizard of Oz. <laughs> <laughs> That's literally what the writer was doing. He was making a random reference to the Wizard of Oz. It was hilarious, though. Yeah. Because he's the only person to ever beat the puzzle. Yeah. Skullband never had legal custody or your best interests in mind. And parental child abduction is a grave offense in the immaterial court of law. No. Don't struggle, Magnus. Also, if you're wondering why he keeps changing forms, it's because he's the Lord of Change. nipples on my head! Oh. oh, this is his newer look. That's why they changed it. No, I don't wanna. Magnus, don't pass off to me. I don't wanna go. We're going. Oh. Yes. Oh. Yes. I don't wanna go. We're going. Oh. Stop her. Put you on time out, young mister. You're not my real dad. But I'm the best you got. All right, oh. stop. Oh. Oh. Are you denying me my property, silvery doorstep? Oh. So, uh, I, I 
I mean, yes, in this particular instance, I am. So what are you going to do about it, big guy? Oh. You're going to tell me to dad at the mud and have your mini scrubs and send me gold spangled glitter bombs? Oh my I'm god. You know, right now, I change the dresses every five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're kind. You like to play games, do you not? Oh boy, here we go, Fable. Why do you ask? If so is the case, I wish to play a game for ownership of Magnus's soul. You what? What is a game of choice then? I challenge you to a game of Paradox Billiards or Square Roulette, fourth dimensional no, hypercube, hypercube just your poker. Really <laughs> now? So that loony shaman chaps who actually pets you, trivial beings, with such cranial capacity. <laughs> Basically, you have to be very it's smart to play Yu-Gi-Oh. It's to master such an intricate class. Do you, though? That is the opposite of true. The only intricate thing about this game is its banlist. You must be quite a specimen, silverware. This is not silver. <laughs> okay, that's true, though. <laughs> oh. Oh, I'm ghastly. They changed him to see his gold to silver. But let it be known, little one. Oh, no. This is now an ultra game. It's now an ultra game, paper. Oh, no. Okay, for real, though. What the hell is the I don't know, but the deceiver says it flipping sucks, dude. I don't think he's one to talk. Why have to let the game begin? Oh, God, it's the deceiver. He talked about the deceiver. Uh. Also, why does everyone hate Ultramar? Because it's Ultramar. I mean, it's the most stable place so far. I disagree, but anyway. Sweetness, three of a kind, and wind up kicking. Let's see. Balls. We're seeing what's in kitten ha hands. Uh, Melody radiance of three, wind up kitten, and malevolent yes, catastrophe. Yes, how he roughed up the emperor. Malevolent sure catastrophe. I don't remember I what that card is. First, I use Pot of Green, which may or may not allow me to draw two new pieces of thing things board. Oh, nope. Most interesting. I shall be sending these two. I don't really need the rest, so I'll just be using card destruction. Oh no! And replace both our hands. Yeah. No. Card destruction. No, the kitty. Hmm. Yes, yes, very good. I'll be sending this as well, and then I shall be using Pot of Avarice. Oh which god. Which allows me to put five priorly thrown away cards back into my deck and then draw two new ones. That is just a better version of the Pot of Green card. It really also, is. Also, destroying our cards again. Again? again. <laughs> <laughs> Why did he become a cat? <laughs> because we're in the realm of change, Fable. Why do you have three of those? <laughs> oh. Now I activate Pot of Green, which allows me to draw two more. Okay, stop. This seems illegal somehow. Firstly, it is illegal. It fucking does. Secondly, you have three of every dumb card in this game. That should be utterly illegalized. And thirdly, yeah, you have a max of eighty. Well, now sixty now. I'm actually going to do something. I do have a plan. A plan so well conceived that it could potentially involve the most combustible demise on your part. See, I might just have seen every possible outcome of this duel beforehand and cornered you in an inescapable trap. He hasn't. He's all too lethargic to inquire <laughs> Oracle Kairos about whether or not he will win his next children's card game. If you don't shut your yap, you'll have to inquire Kairos about the next time you'll get dinner, boy! What? <laughs> uh, oh for, the, God. for those that don't know, uh, Mori, uh, Kairos Fate Weaver is the demon they're referring to, is a... Uh, demon of Zeech, who he throw into a black hole to see what would happen, and he's a Basically, Kairos is a big bird man. He, he originally had one head. When he came out of the black hole, he came back with two. Yeah, apparently there's something in the warp known as the Deep Warp, where even the Chaos... Even the Chaos gods fear to go. Zinj threw a bunch of his demons into it to see what the hell would happen. Uh, the Fate Weaver was the only one to come back. He now has two heads spouts nothing but nonsense and says he can see both the future and the past at the same time and it only drives him even more insane and Zinch is just like yeah I don't want to touch that no more yeah basically he, he has one head that sees the past perfectly and one head that sees the future the problem is he can't see what's happening right in front of him so you could probably go poke him in the eye and yeah he he's pretty much just insane 
You could probably go Sadly. poke him in the eye and he probably still wouldn't move because he can only see the past and future. Better I don't care. Not Just the present. Me. Well, since you are so insistent to you wish for me to do a thing, here is the thing. Oh. I throw down the face down, hidden from your measly mortal eyes. Great, can't wait to see what it is when I attack it next turn. Oh, just kidding. You have been fool pranked, trick to see, bamboozled, let us pray, insulted, for I activate Book of Time. This allows oh. me to flip my monster up face. That's Morphing this Jar number two. Morphing Jar. It's a cheesy. And since he was split, it means his flip event is flip debating. Morphing Jar now returns to my deck as all my cards proceed to leak into the Grey Morph one by one until a new monster is found to take his place onto the field. Yep. <laughs> Stop flicking your cards. Oh. <laughs> Why are you empty in your own deck? Simple questions from a simple mind. Flip it. You may see the truth in due time. Giving your deck diary doesn't seem like the best strategy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Why I found a monster. About time oh. to. I only have two cards left in my deck. Wait, what? Hmm? Does that mean you only have one monster in your entire deck? Pretty much. This may be the case. Oh, okay, that's done. Also, if you only have two cards left in your deck, that means you'll lose by decking out in just two turns. Too bad for you, this game will not last two turns. <clears throat> you vile fiend. Well, as you suspected, Poppy Jar is back again. I like how now Ken is taking this too seriously. <laughs> I mean, Yugo is a very serious game Why table, obviously. Because you have into yeah, the I know, you but the first time he played it, he was didn't know what was going on. It was just like, okay. What next? Yeah. And now he's just like super protagonist mode. Pretty much, he's talking like the Pharaoh. That's the case. <laughs> he is. So stupid. Your upcoming device is called Magical Explosion. When I activate it on your upcoming turn, you will lose 300 life points for every spell card thrown into the abyss. Yeah. Seeing this is an old uh, down there, way they used to do it to, to take out someone in a single turn. I wonder if it's illegal. Oh. I assume that this is slightly worrying. My turn yet? Yes. Oh, good. Choose your final actions wisely, little rattling, for this turn will be a valedictory. Your valedictory. This isn't work back home, I'm certain it'll work again. I activate Giant True Name. Oh. oh. That magical explosion of yours will not be detonating anytime soon, Warp Spawn. This is why you Instead, activate it as soon as the draw turn happens. Hand. Oh, wow! A massive play undone by a single card. Only in a children's card get. Ugh. <laughs> You know what? I play red blue. I am not allowed to criticize here. Yeah, he plays Magic the Gathering. <laughs> okay, Magic the Gathering's a lot worse, because like to my understanding, there's just you can destroy someone in one turn if you play your hand right. I mean you can do that in two and you go, it just takes a lot more setup. Yeah, I have a Magic the Gathering just takes either one or two cards and you basically destroy the whole game. Oh. That's dumb. It's ridiculous. Well then. Moving forward. Due to the new awesome. exactly what I expected from a simple mm. What fable? Also, Magic the Gathering is very, very expensive. Yes, I heard it's very expensive. Very, 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 That's very, true. very expensive. I activate I am sad that my friend Jorgi is addicted to the game. Dark Brother, how does it feel to unintentionally make a deal with the ruinous powers, little candlestick? Your oh, yeah. Your blowing breeze will not phase me. Dark Bribe just basically stops it from activating and no, gives you one more card. Or gives work. your opponent Accurate. one more card. In return, however, as a gesture of pity, perhaps, the Dark Bribe allows you to draw one last card from your deck. We'll see if you can make it count. Damn it. I have no cards in my hand that will help me. He has Fluffle Cat, Whatever Rescue play, Cat, The Big March of Animals, Monster Reborn, and Cup of Ace. Be my final chance to draw something he has Monster me. Reborn. Yes. I, I have to believe. Have to believe in the... What was it? Spleen of the cards? Spleen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wait. What? Can you hear my thoughts? 
Help you help me. <laughs> I will block him from entering your mind. I will keep him at bay while you draw your last card. Okay. Oh, really now? You think you can keep me out of his mind, Magnus? Oh. oh. I'd like to see you try, Sonny. Swall turkey. <laughs> They're arm wrestling. Quickly, companion. I cannot hold them back for long. Oh, my goodness. I will never forget this day in which you helped me help you by winning a children's card game. Shut up and hasten your draw, companion! But oh. I shall draw my final card! Man, isn't this just a, a weird rehash of Yugi versus Pegasus? More or less, yeah. Okay. I'm starting to see the similarities, but not really. I mean, they're not using the same decks, but yeah. <laughs> no, I know, I just so read the whole plot where you can read his mind. Pretty much. The spleen of the gods! Yes. That's another lie, right? Watch me! I activate Cup of Ace. With this card, the flip of a coin will decide the fate of this duel. If the coin shows head, I will draw two cards. If it shows tails, you will draw two cards. And you know what that means, don't you? Ha! You only have two cards left, so you'll deck out and lose! Oh, boy. Is that it? Oh, boy. Honestly, I thought I was in trouble for a second. I was expecting you to play that card, but it does not matter because I'll chain it with Magical Explosion. Oh. No matter what, Magical Explosion will act to be first and annihilate me. Better play your match. Bags, Magnus, because it's right back to house arrest for you. <laughs> oh, God. See you around, you walking near you. <laughs> you don't shatter too harshly on your trip to Ultramar. <laughs> I never said cover base was what was going to save me. I oh, activate no. Mystical Space Typhoon! Oh! Your magical explosion has been negated and destroyed! Ha! Ooh. That means the effect of Cup of Ace uh, you okay, Mori? Anyway. Take that, you sentient heap of slime! I am almost depressed, but someone should have told you that tempting fate while facing the architect of fate itself is a stupid idea in every possible sense of the word. The only fate I believe in is Oh my god, they're playing the Pharaoh's theme, too. Hello, chip forms. Yep. Mori, I think, might be dead. We need to grab the stick again. Oh, uh, hail the new Mori. Mori is dead. All oh, hail the new Mori. I just love Poor saying Mori. that sometimes. President Shinra is dead. All hail President Shinra. I hope she's okay, but uh, it might just be her mic messing up and we're just... Thank you for the pain. Guess which... Guess which is the best sen Super Sentai? I have no idea. But anyway. Mankind's for the future and dominance of the galaxy. One which need not be tempted. Cooler. Only huh. through the scum like you. The train one? Now. Do it! Throw the coin! Heads or tails? Oh, look, it's tails. Hey, I saw that with all 12 of my eyes! So what? You cheated! You huh? shot it while it was in the air so it stopped spinning somehow. <laughs> cheated, you say? That's against the rules. What are rules, really? <laughs> An interesting question, asshole! Now, I just what? like Kevin Sleech is pissed at the, the question going back to him. Your last pathetic card, so I can end this siege. Oh. Ha, nope, it ain't my turn yet. What? what? What now? Did you really expect to outsmart me? That ain't happening, but things have been going just as planned. I activate exchange of the spirits. But this is also another TKO they used to do. Graveyards. I will pay 1,000 of my life points to swap the cards in our graveyards with the cards in our deck. And guess what you have? Exactly 15. <gasps> but by the rumor, those card destructions, you intentionally placed three of them to fill up my graveyard. Yes, guess who's suffering deck dysentery now? Deck dysentery? Oh, no, my deck. Now, as for my deck, it is a 
course glow again. Oh, and thank you for the two free draws, by the way. Oh, oh and guess dude. what I just drew? I don't know because I'm not a transdimensional crook. <laughs> Recognize this? Next turn would be all the same. Only exception being that all your lifelines have been exhausted, of course. After this turn, it would all be over. <sighs> I guess I'll pack it up after all. Hmm. Tell father I died tripping on a staircase or something. <laughs> Why? <laughs> the awesome question. Is it Monster of uh, freaking what's it called? Monster Reincarnation or Monster Reborn? Yeah, Monster Reincarnation, the one that took over, because to my understanding, Monster Reborn was banned at some point, or maybe yeah. it still is. Monster Reincarnation is quite literally just a worse Monster Reborn infective. You have to discard a card to use it, and it just gives you a monster back in your hand. Yeah. But yeah. <laughs> you may see that after this turn, I will lose. But I would not allow this turn to end in the first place. Oh! You will lie defeated before this turn has come to an end, demon. No need to put yourself in full no denial. This is a waste of all of our time at this point, and I have greater games to attend to. Listen, Yu-Gi-Oh is the greatest card game ever devised by man. The cusp of the duel. Which is? You seem to be unaware that trickery and deception are not the only ways to achieve victory in battle. Mm -hmm. And what I need right now is not to play your game. But to indulge in the simpleness of a mortal human mind, I summon rescue cats oh. in attack mode. There he is, Fable. The ability to sacrifice himself for his battle Rescue cat. Yes, everyone loves rescue cat. Up to the grave to summon all two other monsters in his stead from yeah. the deck. I like the rescue cat. Two mileless radiance. While they may seem small and insignificant mm -hmm. on their own, their kinship makes them strong. As long as a mile's radius is out on the field, every beast with Earth as its attribute gets their attack points increased by 500. Yeah. That's 1,000 points for each miles. This makes no difference. You still have to attack my morphing jar to get to me. And even then, I will just reincarnate him next round if he happens to meet his demise. Oh, but I am not done yet, Zeech. Finally, oh. I use Reborn the Monster. This allows me to I don't know why I called it wrong one again. final time. <laughs> Once more, he will sacrifice himself to bring about two more creatures from my deck to the field. And oh. I choose my final Miles Radiant and Wind Up Kitten! Wind Up Kitten! Mode. What are you trying to prove with this line of pathetic creatures? <laughs> I am demonstrating to you the true power of the Empyrean through the use of small, fluffy animals! <laughs> <laughs> that's not something... That's not something the Empyrean would want, though. Well, too bad. The third Miles Radiant on the field. <laughs> too the power bad. of my beast increased by another 500 points, resulting in each gaining 1,500 extra attack points. But not only that, for I now have to make my final card, the Big March of Animals. Oh. This increases each of my beast's attack points by another 200 for each beast on the field. Every beast now has 2,300 more attack points each, easily powerful enough to skewer your slimy exterior. And make Demon God Calamari out of you. Demon God Calamari. And what's more, Wind Up Kitten oh has a God. special ability. Show him! <laughs> what? Looks like you've got to change your mind. That's awful! Show! <laughs> Look. Oh my God. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Each has been defeated by small fluffy animals. This never happened. Or did it? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Zeech! You're a nerd! No. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh. Well, that's so I guess fun. that's that. Seems yeah. like he was in a hurry. Oh well, I presume I can finally roam the galaxy at large without have to worry about being used as a pawn in this game for dominance over the Immaterium anymore. Thanks, me. Hey, by the way, why didn't we owe your soul? Oh, <laughs> time to... It's time to... Uh, no. I can't turn back to normal. Oh, no, no, no. Uh. I've made so many... 
many chicken buns at my expense, I'll go full on Horus Heresy Mark II. <laughs> Electric Boogaloo now in store. Oh, my back is not Horus. Yes! Electric Boogaloo <laughs> now in oh. store. This is awful. The oh. worst! Uh, yeah, he's um, still silver, and now he will. Go and he'll have to deal with chicken puns. That is actually good. I want to play Call of Duty. No! <laughs> <laughs> you want to play Call of Duty? <laughs> oh my god! Funny enough, he wasn't holding up Call of Duty. He was holding up Battlefield Three for some reason, which is oh a lot better. Fucking poor, poor kitten. <laughs> <laughs> But he defeated the Lord of Change in the children's card game, so that's really neat. Yes, it is. Anyway, thank you all so much, and we'll see you in the next one. If you like this stuff, comment, like, subscribe. We say that because it really does help. And yeah. I think I think Reborn the Monster was probably one of those translations that... That was like the translation error when the original cards came. I could be wrong. It's possible. Anyway, thank you so much, and we'll see you guys later.